this is Krisharu Nandi. Today I will show you IJS Calculator, which is a menu management application. Now before going into the details of the features and features of the application, let me give you a brief details of the application. What is it and you know, what is this used for? Let me talk, talk to you about the targeted users. Now any company or individual who prepare a dish for business purpose are the users for this application. Usually when we are preparing some dish, we calculate its selling price depending on some points like individual ingredient, preparation time, profit, etc. But we know this calculation is not always ensure our profit or sometimes the selling price is too high that that may be not feasible for the users. That's why we are introducing this application which will help you to calculate the selling price of your dish depending on your expected profit percentage. It's a cloud application so you only need to a computer and an interface connection internet connection to use it. This is the application where you can see its normal login screen. So uh, this is this is the home page of the application i'm just going through the all the pages like first of all now it's not the application it's actually the front end website of the application and you can find the features of the application over here the prices these are not important stuff now let's let's go to the main application okay this is a Dutch version of the application let me uh, log in as a English user now see <coughs> this is a normal login screen where providing your user ID and password you can log in I'm just using a demo account okay after loading we can see this is a dashboard where you can find all the uh, like important details of the account now this is a dashboard which will show your weather condition here you will get the un unrecognized ingredient now which are the unrecognized in ingredient I will get into that in detail later now these are the user actions now every account got some users and what are those users doing you can see from this screen directly now statistics is like a, uh, this is an overview of how many dishes are there how many same products size mix and ingredients are there you can get the numbers from here quick action this is like quick links now clicking on this you can directly go to that page now you can find the four points like dish semi-product ice mix and ingredient these four are the main uh, uh, main uh, points I and mean, uh, th these uh, these these are the main items we will deal with now what are these first of all let's start with ingredient what is ingredient now ingredient the most granular level of a of a dish now like uh, you know uh, rice is an ingredient or you can say here you, you can find there are lots of ingredients but these are like uh, Dutch ingredients so you may not uh, know all this stuff but for simple saying uh, rice is an ingredient or you can say sugar is an ingredient these are ingredients which can be used for preparing a dish now what is ice mix Ice mix is something like uh, it's it's kind of uh, half build a product, half build a dish. I mean, uh, when you are using some ingredient and create a create a uh, dish, but actually it is not a dish. You can use this thing to create a dish. Semi product is similar to that. Actually, ice mix is related to ice cream since this this whole application is related to ice cream. So ice mix and semi product both are similar there is a small difference i will uh, go into this later and this is the final product i mean final st stuff which you are making let's start with ingredient now 
now you can find a list of ingredient over here all the name all all the name of the ingredients and its kilo price kilo price means the uh, price per kilo of that ingredient now you, if you double click the ingredient you can see the details of that ingredient where you can find the title which is the name of the ingredient supplied if there is any i mean from where you are getting this ingredient article number and brand these are like not mandatory fields these are, these are optional you can store the information of the supplier from where you are getting that ingredient and uh, related stuff over here now this is the cost price cost price means the purchase price number of product in package and usable amount what is this now purchase price is like uh, 4.6 euro that means the number of products in package you have purchased a package which uh, contain one product of 1000 gram and its purchase price is 4.6 so its cost is actually 4.6 if you purchase a product with 4.6 purchase price and whose uh, number of products in package is 10 then it's going to be 0.46 yes that's the catch okay so here you will find the components components will uh, there are lots there are a few components like dairy sweet, sweeten shower dairy sugar and others now each each component uh, will uh, generate few fields like uh, these are the uh, for sweetened uh, if this ingredient is a uh, if sweetened type then it will contain some fat carbohydrate protein sugar glucose or fructose and giving uh, you can uh, you can give that values you can store these values which will be calculated at the time of preparing a dish uh, at the time of preparing a dish it will check if what what are the um, ingredient it used and what are the fat content of that ingredient that particular ingredient how much it is used so it will calculate the total fat content of that dish you can add like uh, these are the these are some uh, lactose peanut and um, uh, these are uh, called like um, okay and history what is history now history is something like uh, the price the you have uh, the price modification time to time to time like uh, how much price has you varied from time to time so initially you would have brought uh, sugar in a 12 12 kilo uh, 12 uh, rupees per kilo but now its price increased to 20 rupees per kilo so you, you can see the graph over here now let's go to ice mix now since i have changed some value so it is asking to save or discard changes so i am discarding the changes now this is the ice mix what are these ice mix as i told you is it is a like half built product it's a combination of some ingredient if i get into one ice mix then i will see it clearly like here i can find the title of the ice mix text that means a brief description usable amount is seven that means that uh the the ice mix we are preparing is seven kilo expiring period two that means uh, ice, every every product every uh, food product has an expiry date so its expiry period is two means uh, after creating ice mix it will it is always in days after creating the ice mix it will uh, stay stay in good uh, health for two days only now the ingredient used for this for creating this ice mix are like this five grams of paper wheel and three kgs of these and these and these and so on so in total it will calculate the total amount in kilo and the percentage as you can see how much percentage of which ingredient is used you can add new data by just clicking the end of the line and pressing a enter it will automatically create a new row and you can add new data simply like 56 put a space bar it will go to the next field write something like if i want to use gram 56 gram it will show you in a pop-up i mean in a or suggestion selecting gram and space and then write something whatever you want uh, 
it must have to be stored in your database initially like uh, for say I'm using something okay uh, I want to use this one good so it will automatically create the uh, it will automatically calculate the total change the total the kilo uh, either calculate the total in kilo and change all the percentage from top to bottom and recalculate the total stuff okay so here if you if we have written any wrong ingredient that is unrecognized ingredient wrong ingredient means you have written something which is not in your ingredient list then it will come into the unrecognized ingredient that's the stuff now here it is the preparation process you can write it down that how the ingredient is prepared okay so go to the financial portion okay so financial here the all the ingredients I have added in this tab all the ingredients I have added in, in this tab will come over here and here you can see the ingredient amount I have written the kilo price of that ingredient so the cost price means th this ingredients kilo price is 23 I have added 5 gram in this in this ice mix so its cost price is 0 0.12 similar for all the cases now subtotal is 607794 euro it's a lots of lots of money and we are preparing for 7 kilo of that ice mix see here you can find the usual amount is 7 it is in kilo so we are preparing 7 kilo so its usual amount is 7 kilo so cost price is 6077.94 divided by 7 that is 868.28 now every uh, product when you are creating when you are uh, preparing any product there are some uh, some cost you have to keep in mind like uh, preparation cost and cleaning cost here is the process like you mentioned that it, it takes one hour time so the rate is one which I have to set from settings and it will clear it will automatically create that cost is 0 0.02 similarly for cleaning product now standards what are standards let's see standards is something like uh, every product contains as I told you every product contains some some every ingredient contains some some of the um, some thing like uh, total dry good moisture um, fat contain lactose protein breaks RS etc etc so here uh, we, we are showing all the percentage value of these products and every product has some limitations like uh, total dry good total dry good maximum nine minimum one is good our value is in between these two so it's good red means not good this this means not good your value 97.35 which is maximum is six it is way higher than that difference is 90.35 so it's it's not good so this is ice mix let's check out what is semi product this card changes this is for ice cream industry actually now semi product is also showing the list of all the semi products already added in the system this is a semi product list and its kilo price okay let's open one semi product you can add any image of that uh, semi product if you want you can add title text usable amount as i described in the ice mix expiry period same here you can add ingredient or ice mix for creating semi product you can add the same ice mix also so uh, the total amount similarly it will calculate preparation process same way financial is the same thing like uh, ice mix I have shown you difference is here you can find a tree grid tree grid means like uh, the, the on, not only showing the value of the ice mix oh on selecting selecting any um, ice mix or ingredient inside a semi product the it's it's all the details you can uh, find in a pop-up let's close it okay so here is the stuff uh, like not only it's showing the value and the amount used and kilo price and cost for this ice mix also inside this ice mix what are the ingredient used what are the 
uh, what are the amount of those ingredients it's calculating by the percentage and its price and all the stuff simultaneously everything it is calculating so you can get the subtotal usable amount division by div dividing these two you can get the cost price similarly uh, as the same way in ice mix you can get the preparation cost and cleaning cost standards are the same like ice mix as i showed you you can get the standards freezing point freezing info this is something new this is like uh, freezing info uh, dep depends on temperature in which temperature it's going to freeze let's go to dish now you can find the dish in two uh, two different view one is uh, this one tree view and another one is list view let's open the list view this is the list view where you can here you can find uh, much more columns like uh, dish name not only uh, but also kilo price profit percentage profit uh, price including tax price, desired sales price actual margin state what are these let's open one dish and i will describe you open a different dish this one is good okay see you can add image if you want title description person to serve okay here is uh, here you can add semi product or ice mix or ingredient any one preparation process let's go to financial step this is the actual calculation now here this is the financial view the right you, you are viewing this which test for now here uh, the same way as in the semi product rice mix you can find the total of uh, like all the all the ingredient or semi product or rice mix cost separately now the total of these columns are coming over here cost 0.96 how let me just show you okay so here is the thing like waste percentage what is waste percentage waste percentage is every when you are creating a dish uh, you definitely will lose some some of it some of its contains now this is called waste percentage we are we are uh, showing we are giving that uh, let's let's see let's uh, uh, think that waste percentage is four percent similarly profit percentage is four percent factor which is dependent on profit percent is one that percentage uh, that that dependent on a company whether they are giving 21 percent best bat or six percent back now cost cost is the total cost of for creating these the for creating this uh, dish including this uh, semi product and ingredient and others the raw material cost now waste waste is calculated from this waste percentage total cost is by adding these two profit is dependent on the profit percentage we are calculating the profit and sales excluding tax is total cost plus profit after uh, including the tax it's coming into 1.10 and desired sale price desired sales price is like if we want to sell it in 460 euro then actual profit is 99.77 percent now if we want to sell it in one euro what will happen uh -oh, we are losing some money if we are uh, we want to sell it in two euro we are getting 47.22 percent profit that's all uh, standard let's check this out also okay now see in standard we are only showing three things like ingredient percentage what are the ingredient used in this uh, uh, dish and how much percentage is used and calorie what, are, what is the total calorie for this ice cream so this is the product and now uh, you can see there are few buttons like you can delete any dish uh, it will delete this this dish we are uh, looking into this dish uh, if you go to the overview and select any dish let's open the uh, dish list if you uh, yeah here you will select any dish and click on the delete it will be deleted you can export all the data 
as a PDF you can uh, uh, export as a word file print as a a4 printer or you can print as a label dynamo printer like uh, for the for the labeling in the uh, in the, all the bottles or stuff like that let's check out the folder also folder view see here you can group your uh, dish in like uh, different groups like uh, snacks and meal and all those stuff you can create different folders or subfolders to store all the dishes over here this is the stuff and in settings what you can do is you can set a uh, company your company's like uh, image and all the stuff preparation rate clean rate from here it will calculate the preparation cost and uh, article number ingredient supplier printed it's it's option for printing currency is in euro waste waste margin profit threshold these are the general settings and some default uh, values for the for these uh, when you are not providing these values in your ingredient uh, it will calculate from here you can add more users and give them privilege as well from here that's all guys thanks for watching this video